ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your fourth time coming across the channel. If you could subscribe, thumbs up or comment below would be appreciated. You know what? Top of the league over a week now. Feels good, doesn't it? Hopefully if we can keep that momentum and go on and win the league. We've 13 games to go in the league. It's been tough games. Last night, I was in a bit of a crudgy mood after that match because the pitch was terrible. The referee was terrible. We could see the two goals, but we scored three goals and we got three points at Pataudry. And that's the most important thing. You know, it was, there was frustrating performances out some folk last night. But, you know, champions momentum. You go away to Aberdeen on a winter's night and get three points there is a sign of good champions. But I'm here to talk about five things, five ways Celtic have changed under Captain Callum and Ange Postacolu. First of all, style of football. And is at the bringing in this 4 3 3 system. It's obviously the amount of goals we've, we've been scoring has been unbelievable. You know, obviously, new players have come in Koyogo, Jotte, Carter Vickers, Matt O'Reilly, Maeda, Abada. You look at look at the crop of players that we had compared to last season and the, the players that went, the likes of Oyer, Edward, Christie, they all moved on. But we still haven't shifted Barkas or the Yeti. Or sorrow, some people might say. But the style of football is been exciting for the fans. We go back to the start of the season when we were pumping teams 6-0. And even against Rangers, like who would have thought we would have beaten Rangers 3-0 at Celtic Park with the style of football. We blew them away in the first half. We have to fake the system. There's no point changing it in any competition. And this is what one of the key factors why we're doing well. So this season alone, why we're in the title hunt. We're title contenders because of the 4 3 3 system that Ange has implemented into the squad. Second thing is the defence. Best defensive record in the league. Yes, we conceded two awful goals last night. It was like deja vu of last season, but best defence in the league, top scorers in the league. That says everything. This is this is why the stats pick up for itself. This is why we're top of the league, but Yes, Star Starfeld has had bad performances. Yes, Beaton has had bad performances. Welch, some of the defensive players. But you've got to give them the praise that we have the best defence in the league. That's another key factor where we're doing so well this season. And that's down to Callum getting the team organised. That's down to Joe Hart getting his defence organised. Joe Hart has been one of the best signings we've had in the last 10 years because the way he's changed his... This is a team, a crop of players that were who were still left at the club that were hurting from the disappointment last season. You didn't see what Tom said. We were top of the top of the pile for the last decade and one bad season. They start to criticise us, but look at we're doing well. You got to give the praise to the defence. That's one big thing we've changed on. Third big thing is we've won a cup already. We won the league cup. We played some difficult teams on the road. We beat Hearts. We beat St. Johnson, we beat Wright Rovers, and we beat Hips. It's a massive, massive achievement. But Ange only been in the door six months where some Celtic fans were writing him off. I wrote him off. I didn't. I said, give him the season. Let's see what happens on the rebuild. We are fighting for the league already. That just says enough about it, and that's a massive thing. And I'm glad he's proved me wrong. And he's and it's it's been amazing. So winning the League Cup is a big step in the right direction. You've seen how crazy he was when Coyogo scored down two goals at Hamden. Even when James he scored in the semi-finals for Bertie Old, that was a big occasion in itself. The, the fourth thing is Ange's reputation with the fans and Callum's reputation. You go back to that time, start of the season, I think it was against St. Mirren, when we hammered St. Mirren. Callum done the huddle, got the boys to get out at the full-time missile and walks around. And they keep walking around. Every home game, they walk around and clap the fans. That is a big engagement with the fans. Even with the fan media, and changes the approach than he's, when, the way he talks to the other media. He's more relaxed with them. He gets on them. He understands the club. That's a big factor in itself. Callum has taken the role off from Scott Brown. I wasn't particularly keen on it, to be honest with you. I thought Christopher Royer at the time would have been a better fit, but he gave the responsibility to Callum. Callum's came in and he's been absolutely outstanding as a captain. You've seen how well he, he played against Rangers the other night, coming back in with the face protection on him. And you have to give him just points upon points. That The way he speaks in the media, 
the way he engages with the press, the way he gets on with fan media. Callum knows how big this club is. And I think he's been the right figure to lead us to this title. Fingers crossed. And the last thing is, we're still in Europe. We're still in Europe. I know it's a tour tier. We were unfortunate not to get out of the Europa League, finish runners up. We finished on nine points. Some clubs finished on eight points, but we have gone the right direction in European football compared to last season under Neil Lennon and Scott Brown. So for Ange and Callum to pick up the pieces of last season to guide a team to a trophy before Christmas, to be in a tight race, to be still in Europe and to still be in the Scottish Cup is a massive achievement in itself. And I think Celtic fans should be happy in this. The fans are back in the stadium. There's something good happening at this club. You can feel it with the fans. Yes, last night was a bit of a bit of a you know, I could say rumble, but we still got over the line. We're still top of the league. As I said as I started the video, still top of the league. And we have two derbies to go. We still have Scottish Cups to be played. Scottish Cup toys. We have Conference League toys to be played. We can't be complaining. We can't not be complaining. We should be literally top of the world, living the dream, looking down at the rest. And you know what? It's going to happen. I believe that Callum McGregor is the right man will captain us to that league in May. I really believe it. And I believe Ange deserves a long-term contract. If it's a two or a three-year contract, he's building something there. He's putting the foundations down. He's at the scout with some good players from the J-League. He's got a bad in. He's playing good football. And I think Ange will convince the likes of Carter Vickers and Jota that 15 million for the them duo will be purchased in the summer. So he has players playing for the short. He understands the cause. He understands it's a generational club. He understands that if the results that fans live for all week can affect their mindset and their personal lives, he understands that. And this is what he has grown on the majority of us. He's been probably the most exciting manager and love manager since Martin O'Neill. And that says something. So this is why I'm bringing the video out to you. Is if you disagree with any of your points, just to recap, as I said, top of the league, we've won a cup, we're still in Europe, we have a new system of football, we have a new crop of players that want to play, and the captain and the manager has a stronger bond with the fans. Bruni had a bond with them last season, but obviously it was all behind closed doors and you can only deal with fan media, but it's a big, big thing that the fans feel this, the fans are buying into this, and he will prove that 10% of people wrong that he's good enough for the job because the majority of us believe in it. The more you see his interviews of Ange, the more that we're buying into him. The more that we know that he's there. And I don't think he would disrespect the club and do a Brendan Rodgers in any way. So subscribe to the channel. Speak to us all soon. Hell, hell.